Welcome to another lesson that is part of the TI30XB student course. In this lesson, we'll be covering indices. So the button that's going to be most helpful for us is this button over here on the left hand side in the middle of the calculator. It's to the power of, it looks like a little up arrow. So let's put in a value three, that's our base and to the power of, and our exponent or our index is four. And we press enter and that evaluates three times three times three times three as 81. But we're not restricted to just integer powers or just positive powers. So let's try a negative integer first of all. So five to the power of negative two, make sure you use the negative from down the bottom, not the subtract. And let's get out of the index by using the right arrow and pressing enter. And we can see it gives it to us as a lovely fraction. So let's have a look at a rational power. So 27 to the power of, and I'm going to use a fraction. So I'm going to use the fraction template and put in one half. So one and use the down arrow and two. And I'm going to come out of that fraction and then to the right again to put me back on the calculate line and press enter. And it gives me the approximate answer of 5.196, etc. But I know power of a half is square root. So if I do second and square root and put 27 in, so the square root of 27, and I can come out of that and press enter, I get three root three. Using the toggle button down here above the enter, I can see what that approximates to. And I can see that it's exactly the same value. So when we use that exponent, we get the same result. All right, well, let's do a couple of calculations. Let's do four to the power of five and multiply it by three to the power of seven. So we can press four to the power of five, but I'm currently in the exponent. I need to get back on the calculate line. So I use the right arrow and then multiplied by three to the power of seven and I can press enter. And it's quite a large number. Let's do another one, a little bit more complicated and use some brackets as well. So let's do five to the power of, let's put in a negative power, negative three. Make sure you get out of the power with the right arrow. And let's multiply that with some brackets, two squared, so the easiest way to get the squared is actually using this button over here, the x squared button. That puts us straight back into the calculate line. So I can press multiplied by six to the power of negative one. Get out of that exponent, close my brackets, and I'm going to raise that bracket to the power of four, and now I can press enter. And I can see that's a value of 0 0.00158 and so on. So your brackets can also be very useful. That's all for this lesson. 